DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself. I do not recommend that you finance seat covers or any of these accessories with your vehicle when you buy it. Because we did buy this vehicle new, but we didn't finance it with it um, because they charge way too much for it. Okay, so there's two other places we looked at that were significantly cheaper than dealership. And I did go to the dealership afterwards as well and check with the parts center and I checked on the prices. I checked on the prices for them just to have it shipped to them and then I would do it myself as well as the prices for them to install them. So I compared the three different places. I, play, I compared the parts center at the dealership, um, the e-parts Honda store and Amazon. And so we compared the cost of shipping plus the price of the actual product itself um, and everything, we took everything into consideration and then we purchased the best deal. So these are all the OEM Honda products and some of the stuff that we are installing on the van are the seat covers, um, the splash guards or mud guards, the roof rails, the crossbars for it and the hitch system are just a few things that we're installing on the van and they're all OEM. We I just wanted to show you guys this is one more feature that we got, another piece of protection that we got for our van. So we have our seat covers and everything installed already, the screen protector up there and everything. And then in the back here we purchased this uh, cargo mat area. So the only time that this little cargo mat works is when these back seats, the third row of seating, is down but it folds out real nice and it covers all the way up to those uh, aftermarket floor mats from Tough Pro that we got. So I'll put the links for all this stuff down in the description. And again, we did get this mat from the online eHonda store. So you'll see all of these ridges, these are folding points for it. So when you're not using it, it actually folds up into one of these small sections, which looks to be about nine inches or so long uh, width wise, as far as that goes. And then it does still fold up real nice. So I can, you can get it up and out of the way and stuff like that. So that is how it folds, um, but it still gives us additional coverage protection for these, which is really nice. We'll fold back down and then it does have these edges too. And that covers, comes down right over that to give you additional lip protection. And then there is a lip all the way around as well to help with spills and everything else. So there is another thing that we had purchased afterwards. Um, which also is going to give us additional protection. If you have any questions, please let us know. If anybody else knows the answers to those questions and I haven't got back to them yet, go ahead and feel free to answer those. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. We're going to be doing a ton more videos on the 2018 Honda Odyssey and all the things that we're doing to upgrade it post uh, buy because we initially bought this and we didn't get any aftermarket stuff for it uh, or we didn't finance anything aftermarket with it when we initially purchased it because I know that I can get it a lot cheaper at other places and install it myself which is going to save a ton of money. So subscribe if you want to see any of those videos. We also do videos on my other vehicles, the motorcycles, uh, woodworking projects, and then house improvement and uh, just other maintenance projects as well. So you can subscribe for that so you can stay alerted for whenever we upload videos on those. And uh, other than that, have a great day. DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself. DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself.